Hi everyone, I'm Gremlin here for the Techies, and today I'm going to show you some reflection properties in 3ds Max, how to add a reflection map. So here I have this random scene that I made with these three planes with a earth map for some reason. But yeah, this is going to show you how stuff reflects. So first thing we need to do to make the sphere right here reflexive, press M for the material map editor, then select a new map that you're going to use. Uh, go all the way down to expanding the maps tab and for an absolute like perfect reflection you actually want to do refraction it doesn't make much sense but trust me uh, click none um, <clears throat> or if there's something else there click that uh, then you want to select ray trace press ok and you want to select reflection uh, now you obviously want to apply this map onto here so go ahead and drag that onto there you can go back to parent to apply some last minute touches that we're going to do. Um, we actually want to increase the specular level of this to make it kind of shiny and increase the glossiness, make it look kind of mirrorish, kind of more glassy, I mean. Um, and so, yeah, let's see how that looks right there. Press F9 to render. And it looks kind of weird, but you can see that. Uh, it reflects these maps that are behind it. So there you go. It stretches it just like a sphere would. And um, just to demonstrate it a little bit more, let's put something three-dimensional next to it, like a teapot. Why not? It's random. So there you go. Um, X out of that. Let's move that out a bit and rotate it so you can see the reflection a little more. I mean the top of it. And F9 again to render. And there you go, you can see that it's reflected back there. And uh, of course, to make this look a little better, you can add some lights, uh, give it some more glossiness, you can play around with a couple of features. And also, to like make light bend through it, you can go back into the maps, and instead of selecting the reflection, when you go into this ray trace, you can select refraction, that does some cool things. And you can also play with reflection over here. Um, it's up to you to explore, it's not too hard, but there it is. Make sure to use ray trace when you want to do this kind of thing with bending light and stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, this has been Kremlin for the Techies. Do not forget to visit th3techies.com. Goodbye.